greetings to one and all myself rozi jain working as assistant professor in commerce in pg department of commerce and management arya college ludhiana today the topic for discussion is indian contract act 1872 here we will first of all discuss about the definition of contract and the essential elements of valid contract before we proceeding with the topic it is essential to know that each and every one of us enters into contract from sunrise to sunset whenever a person buys a computer hires a taxi goes to the video library to buy a video cassette takes a credit card from a bank or gives loan to another or does the booking for the dj for marriage party he enters into and performs the contract though he may be unaware of th- this fact such contracts create the legal relations that give rise to certain rights and obligations and the law of contract deals with all these aspects relating to the contracts so we need to discuss the meaning of contract first a contract is basically an agreement to do or not to do an act it is a legally binding agreement which is enforceable at law so it means a contract is basically an agreement agreement is made between two or more persons and it may be regarding to do the particular thing or to not to do the particular thing and it is intended to be enforceable at law that means the agreement is legally binding upon the parties so hereby you can say that the definition is rightly said by salmon that contract is an agreement creating and defining obligations between the parties for example taking a loan from bank and making an agreement an agreement between buyer and seller of car these all are contracts in nature but all the agreements yes all agreements cannot be called as contracts in order to be contract there must be an essential element that it is should be legally enforceable i said that all agreements are not contracts it means there are some agreements that lack the essential element of legal enforceability those agreements are called domestic or social agreements which are not enforceable at law for example a invited his friend b to a dinner at his house if b fails to arrive or a is not available at his place at the dinner date then either of the parties cannot sue each other thus you thus it can rightly be said that contract is equals to agreement plus the enforceability at law now the essential elements of a valid contract will be discussed and it is mentioned under section 10 of indian contract act 1872 there are 10 essential elements that need to be present in a contract to make it legally enforceable that is offer and acceptance intention to create legal relationship lawful consideration capacity of parties free consent lawful object certainty of meaning possibility of performance not declared to be void and legal formalities now all these points will be discussed in brief as follows number 1 offer and acceptance yes in order to make a contract there must be an agreement and in order to make an agreement there must be an offer by one party and its acceptance by the other party so this is the very first essential element of a valid contract 
that it there must be an agreement number second is intention to create legal relationship nothing can be happen if the parties do not intend to create the legal relationship as we have already discussed that agreements of social or domestic nature do not contemplate legal relations and therefore are not enforceable by law here is the important case study in this uh, referring to this very second point that case study is of balfour versus balfour 1919 here mr balfour who was a civil engineer was employed in ceylon sri lanka and he along with his wife went to england for some vacations but mrs balfour went to ill health had to stay in england only and couldn't accompany him to ceylon mr balfour promised to send her 30 pounds per month while he was abroad but mr balfour failed to pay that amount so mrs balfour filed a suit against her husband for recovering the said amount the court held that it was a mere pure domestic agreement and that the promise made by the husband in this case was not intended to be any legal obligation so mrs balfour cannot recover the amount so the point here is cleared that the intention to create legal relationship is must in order to make a valid contract lawful consideration consideration means something in return consideration is the price for which the promise of the other person is brought it is also known as quid pro quo it is an essential element in the contract any agreement made without consideration will be void in the eyes of law and cannot be legally enforceable consideration may take the form of money goods services a promise to marry a promise to forbear from suing the promise etc moreover it can be past present or future but yes it needs to be real and lawful for example a agrees to sell his horse to b for rupees 1000 here a's promise to sell his horse is for b's consideration to pay similarly b's promise to pay a is the consideration for him to sell his horse next is capacity of parties the parties must be competent to enter into contract if either of the parties does not have the capacity to enter into contract then the contract is not valid according to section 11 the following persons are not competent to enter into contract that is minors persons of unsound mind and persons disqualified by law next is free consent consent means the parties must have agreed upon the same thing in the same sense that is consensus ad idem for example in this picture a who owns two car of one maruti and the other centro offers to sell b one car a intending it to be the maruti car but b accepts the offer thinking that it is the centro car here there is no consensus and hence no contract is made according to section 14 consent is said to be free when it is not caused by coercion undue influence fraud misrepresentation mistake coercion is the physical threat and undue influence is the mental threat 
in coercion any agreement made on gun point or by threatening somebody physically can be called as coercion and in undue influence it is basically when one person dominates the will of the another person because of some fiduciary relationship in between these two persons next is the lawful object object means the purpose of the contract and it should be valid in the eyes of the law it means it sh- if it should it, it, it should not be forbidden by law or if it is of such a nature that if permitted it would defeat the provisions of any law it is unlawful it is unlawful if it is fraudulent if it involves any injury to the person or the property of the other person and the court regards it as immoral for example let three parties are involved in smuggling they settled the distribution of profit at the specific ratio from smuggling it is not a valid contract because the object is not valid in the eyes of law certainty of meaning the meaning should be certain the meaning should be cleared it should not be left vague it should be precise it means the agreements the meaning of which is not certain and capable of being made certain are void in the eyes of law for example a makes a contract with b to decorate the house according to the present style here the term present style may mean different to both parties so the contract is void another example is a makes an agreement with b to supply 100 tons of oil but which type of oil it is not clarified so it is not a valid contract possibility of performance yes the act must be possible to perform either if it is not possible to perform either physically or legally then it cannot be enforced at law for example any agreement to discover house by magic any agreement to make parallel lines meet any agreement to discover treasure by magic these all are the agreements the the performance of which is not at all possible and therefore cannot be enforced at court not declared to be void or illegal the law has specifically mentioned under sections 24 to 30 of the act that these type of agreements are expressly disqualified by law for example agreements in restraint of marriage trade business and profession in restraint of legal proceedings and so on for example a promised to marry none else except b and in default to pay her rupees 20000 b sued a for the recovery of that sum on the ground that a married someone else it was held that the agreement was void last is legal formalities any oral contract is perfectly valid contract except in those cases where writing or registration is must by any other law for the time being in force for example in india written agreement is required in case of the sale of immovable property or while forming the memorandum of associations and articles of associations of the companies etc so in all these cases along with it in case of sale mortgage lease and gift of the negotiable instruments it should be written and so on if any law for the time being in force prescribes the legal formalities then it should be complied by the law only then it can be valid contract thus in order to make a valid contract one contract needs to fulfill all of the essential elements that are mentioned under section 10 of indian contract act 1872 otherwise the contract will not be considered valid in the eyes of law and hence cannot be enforced at law 
थैंक यू एवरीवन